Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Kitta Fire X model KN-COSM-IBA smoke detector and carbon monoxide alarm. And this has the voice alarm on it too. And I'm going to be replacing this one and I'll also take a look at the old one on the inside. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll put a link in the description of this and use that like it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So these seem to be approximately the same type of smoke detector. These are both Kitta and they're both wired smoke detectors. So these have uh, three connectors on the back. There's a connector that's wired into my house and it's wired up with wire similar to this. So it is a 14-3 wire. So you have a hot ground, the common, and then the red wire is a communication wire. So that'll communicate between the different smoke detectors. So if one goes off, it'll set all of them off. So this one started beeping the other night, like it, right at midnight, it started doing this weird chirpy sound. So I think it's because it's uh, too old. You see here it says 2012 June 05, and I think this might have had a seven year life on it. This new one supposedly has a 10 year life. I think I saw right here. It says 10 year warranty. So we'll take a look at the old one real quick. I opened this up. And this does not have the uh, nuclear or radioactive material in it. It's, I think it's pronounced americium. Um, this one is the light one. So you see we have an infrared light here, and then we have a detector here. So the smoke comes in through these little vents, and the light gets blocked by the plastic here, but if you have smoke in here, it'll diffract the light so it can see the other side of the sensor. And then you have the nine volt battery mount here. So that slips in there and you can't close this without a battery in it. It has this little lip. You have to put a battery in. So you shouldn't have one of these without a battery unless you bypass that. Then it has a speaker in it, has a buzzer. I'm not real sure where the carbon monoxide sensor is on here. So, so that's the old one. So here's the new one. So here's the pigtail. So I have this on the house already, and that'll connect in on the old one, they're the same. So I won't have to wire this in, but I'm going to keep this because sometimes these little ears break off and you need to replace them. So I'll just throw that in a, my little parts bin. Looks like we have a little sticker, instructions. So this is a little cover. It's like a little shower cap for it. So if you're doing drywalling or painting or anything like that, you can leave that cover on it and it'll keep it clean. And then when you're completely done, you can take that off and it's ready to go. So I have some other smoke detectors that look similar to this, but they are different. They have like one little vent on them. And this has two because this one has the voice control on it. So it will talk, it'll say fire or smoke or carbon monoxide or whatever. So this will clip in here to this bracket. And there is a lock on here. I'm not sure where that's at. Okay, I just looked through the directions and it has these little four standoffs here that you break those off in, the, in these four little parts and that'll make it tam tamper resistant so it makes it harder to take off so someone can't steal your smoke detector very easily. I'm gonna look at the bottom of both of these. They are a little bit different. So if this smoke detector doesn't fit on the ring of the old one, I'll have to replace it. But the electrical part's the same. See if I can fit this on here. There we go, I just had to press it. So that does fit on there. So I expect this one will fit on the new one. And again, I'll keep this in case uh, the old one breaks. You can put an install date on here. It says do not paint. Let's look at the batteries here. So an interesting thing you'll see here is this has AA batteries instead of nine volts. And I was looking online and a lot of them have the AA batteries instead of the nine volts. Now, I don't know why the change, but uh, should be cheaper. I think AA are quite a bit cheaper than nine volts. So I've used the lithium batteries. So I've used these like uh, Energizer lithium batteries in the nine volts, and these are supposed to last like 10 years. I didn't get 10 years out of it, interestingly. I got seven or eight, I don't know. Um, so I don't know if you can put the lithium ones in here. I don't know that it's worth it because AA batteries are so cheap. They also make a version of this that has the built-in 10-year battery. It's probably a better deal than this one, but I was reading a review, like if you have a, a problem with this and you take it off, I don't know how easy it is to deactivate that. If you have the one with the uh, rechargeable or the you know sealed battery in it, let me know. 
but I don't know how, how hard it would be to deactivate that or if you'd have to like throw it in a bucket of water or something to uh, make it shut up. But this one, you can just pop the batteries out. Like this one was, you know, causing a nu nuisance alarm. Well, it was more of like, you know, it was old, so I needed to get rid of it. So I just was able to take the battery out of it. Now, if you do have one that has the americium in it, you do need to, um, you know, treat that as hazardous material and drop it off at a hazardous waste site. And these I'm just going to recycle at my electronics recycler. I'll just throw that in my stack of dead electronics. Um, so that's it for this video. I just want to make a quick uh, overview of these two smoke detectors. Um, looks like they have changed. This one's changed color a little bit over the years. But it uh, looks like a newer style of this one. Uh, and this does, you know, talk, things like that. I don't have an easy way to demonstrate that. Uh, I could make another video in the future. Just uh, my family's upstairs and they're not going to like it if I set off the smoke detectors. <laughs> so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.